to the Slays of 101. It is a fun, filled, feel good Friday. And when I'm talking about fun, I'm talking about serious fun with the 44th St. Martin Heineken. We got it in full effect. Uh, shout out to Thomas Riley, who was in the building. Shout out to Rupi, Barry Hype. And we got more, more guests. I got Kevin Little in the building. Right. Yes, sir. And I got one yeah, of my man. own local artists in the building. Samelia, what's going on, what's girl? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, man. It is, it is getting hot in here. Literally getting hot. What's going on, guys? How y'all doing? We're doing good. So, man. have y'all ever did an interview together? No, right? No. Y'all just met, right? Yes, yes. Okay. very much. Have you heard her music? I just heard her song. Okay. Murder. So murder. 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 Yeah. So, so, let me broker this deal right now. <laughs> Kevin Little on the remix. Oh, right. period. So we're yeah. going to broke this deal right now. Thank you, G Money. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> All right, let me start with you, Kevin. What's going on? Welcome back, my brother. Uh, yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a long time. I remember the first time you came to St. Martin. I don't know yeah. if you remember, but I remember. Remind the, me. The first, first time you came, your song was just burning up the charts, turn me on, and. Yeah. Me and you was just chilling the whole week. I don't remember. I know, I know you. I just was <laughs> we like, wait, was <laughs> yeah, we was chilling the whole weekend. It was crazy. I know, I know you. Yeah, I'm looking at yeah, you. I'm yeah, like, yeah, I know this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's good to see you again. It's not your first time. It's like your third or fourth time in the studio. So, yeah, you've been here for Yeah, quite okay. White Bro, my memory is messed up because I. Listen, join the club. Places. Yeah. Join the club. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. Don't, the yeah, age. Man. Age. What show was that? It was in the Carnival Village. It was actually the old Carnival Village. It was not, we have a, the Carnival Village, but the festival Was it me and Super P? Yes. It was me and Super P. Everybody <laughs> peeping. Yes. That was, that Your was, memory's not that bad. No, but that was before I got signed. That was like when really? the song was big in the region. Yes, in the region. You wasn't on to a major yet. No. Correct. And you guys here up in this side of the world took the song before a lot of major places. Really? Yeah. Yeah. When they, they started playing it over here, they were like, yo, Kevin, the song is big in the Virgin mm -hmm. St. Martin. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? Like, and they were like, yo, it's a big deal. They they're saying you're from the U.S. Because that time people didn't know I was from St. Vincent. Correct. And they were saying I was from the USA and all this kind of thing. Who's mm -hmm. this Kevin Little? Mm -hmm. No social media. Mm -hmm. So there was not the instant um, finding out who people are like it how it is now, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then the thing was, um, it didn't hit the States until like, what, two, three years later? Uh, Once you after uh, 2004. So this was like, me and Super P was actually like 2002, 2000. 2003 and then I'll say 2002 yeah and then once you got signed was it Virgin what was you, what was you? I was signed to Atlantic Atlantic yeah then yeah. you got signed to Atlantic then the song came blew up then you did the video yeah with all the flags yeah, in it yeah yeah and I'm looking for the St. Martin flag what's the St. Martin flag oh anyway, wait, wait, but yeah and then <laughs> y'all like St. Vincent you know we've been looking for ourselves on the map you can't find it like where's St. Vincent like, yeah <laughs> yeah you yeah. go to a party and they shout at everybody except for your island I'm yeah. like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, then the song uh, you United States, it, 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 Atlantic took it and it just caught fire. It, yeah. it had like a second life. Yeah, it yeah. had like a second life. It kind of put me under a lot of pressure because you know pressure like, really. Yeah, because I mean, as a Caribbean artist, I had other hits in the Caribbean. I had songs like Call Me, Last Drop, that was doing well. Two thousand for Carnival. Home for Carnival was actually after the record. Okay, that was actually two thousand six, right? Mm -hmm. But um. I had these other records I was doing good but then Turn Me On just came back again mm -hmm. and nobody was hearing that because now I'm international mm -hmm. and it's like yo he's this huge international star now and then it's like we gotta we gotta figure this out and then the labels don't know what to do it, it, it was kind of a real crazy time for me I was kind of all this successful but very much in limbo because mm -hmm. as again there was not as much um, what should I say know how about dealing with an artist of my kind of success because From the I Caribbean came, and, soca yeah music. and remember I didn't come signed to a label I brought something that was just totally different mm -hmm. you know and the labels were on it Craig Carmen at Atlantic just wanted because he was about pushing that Caribbean sound mm -hmm. right he wanted to see the Caribbean song succeed right but then there was no experience with doing it this way a lot so it was kind of another one of those issues where you get thrown in with the rest and then you know 
it was it was a tough time for me. Was there a label war for you? Was there a yeah, other labels? Yeah, in, yeah, a big label war. I mean, well, tell from, me about some of the labels. Uh, yeah, from La Face to oh wow to um, your Atlantic, Sony, Virgin. Like I visited every single label wanted to sit down with me. And, every single and one. And why did you decide on Atlantic? Well, they gave me creative control. Oh, that's and they, big. They, <laughs> they offered me um, the same amount as Sony, but Sony wasn't giving me creative control. Really? Yeah, yeah. They wow. gave me creative, but then they gave me creative control, and then while they had me doing the music, they took it away. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't really like, you know, it was never really, because, you know, these people give you money, and you have to make by that money. So that's what part of the, the thing in your the back of your head. Even though you get millions of dollars up front, you still gotta make back that money. That's right, you gotta recruit. You know, I made it back and some, you know, to the point now where I'm getting paid for the masters and stuff like that, because I own some of my masters still as well. You know, but Turn me on, Master you own? Yeah. Okay, yeah, just I have it. ownership in it. I don't I don't own all of it. Atlantic owns most of it, but I have ownership in it as well. To so, me it's just looking at you. She's a yeah. um, she's an up and coming artist. <laughs> yeah. She's just watching me. <laughs> Like, really? They're gonna do this to me? <laughs> no! Mom, stop! Uh, no, but you see, the thing is, though, you know, for any up, up and coming artist, the, the thing is that you gotta have people around you who care about you. Mm -hmm. And um, I would recommend for all artists that you protect your, your residuals. Eh? You gotta learn to understand what publishing is, what performance royalties is, what performance rights is, because there's so much different um, aspects to the revenue streams in the music industry and you're entitled to all of them mm -hmm. but you know if you don't go and find out for yourself a lot of people won't tell you That's and um, you know I wish I knew more about masters ownership I knew more about publishing and performance rights and stuff I made sure I had that because publishing actually earns the most money Correct. so I have most of my publishing you know but that that and your masters you have to make sure you get ownership in them because today I got a new revenue check because turn me on recouped and I'm getting a different and check again added to the checks I get per year right so you know that that's the that's the thing you got to make sure you protect your residual you um, rule number one mm -hmm. when getting into the business that I always was always get yourself a good lawyer yeah mm -hmm. yeah of course yeah. of course and right. I mean the thing is getting a good lawyer I mean I've had bad experiences with lawyers really the, yeah the, even the lawyers yeah because, they could be shady yeah because the lawyers themselves they're working in the industry with these major companies and these major companies companies they are um, lobbying these people they, they get in jobs through these labels you know the, the big checks when they come mm -hmm. they get in their percentages so these labels and ma major companies could squeeze them as well mm -hmm. so they try to protect their revenue by siding with who's giving them the money mm -hmm. too as well so you as an artist you have to make sure you understand the the crux of the business in depth where your residuals are what you're entitled to what you should not give up you know what you should keep and you know it it, it, it is that you don't let nobody nobody and I mean nobody have all the control to your thing you must be if you, it's, it's like you you own a company you yourself are a company and it's important that you the head of that company know everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. Even though you're not doing it yourself, you still have to be cook, chef, cleaner, everything. Go and find out. Go and do it yourself. Or you'll find yourself in trouble in the long run. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. Absolutely. True. To me, it's just looking yeah. at you like, huh? No, I'm, I'm lucky because I got a good deal with the label that I'm signed to. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's a 50, 51, I mean, 50 something something mm -hmm. collaboration. Uh -huh. That's great. So it's a collaboration deal and I have my mom there to back me up with That's everything wonderful. and she and the label too so and I have stories like this to, to look back on and be like I don't want to do that <laughs> yeah, yeah. so thank you yeah, yeah you know you. early especially like especially in, in the days of me coming up and I was in the, in the rap industry they right. were just you know it was something new everybody was signing rappers and they were just taking advantage of them you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying because they didn't know the business and, and now these guys are finding out 
10, 15, 20 years later, like, wait a minute, so and so owns my song? Yeah. Every time that song <laughs> plays, I'm not yeah, so and so. Yeah, no, somebody else is getting a check. I, and it's, uh, the problem is in our culture, our people, and I'm not talking about just the Caribbean, I'm not just talking about Africa, I'm talking about our culture as black people in general. We are very into fame and instant gratification. You know, we're very into that. Preach. And that is what yep. kills us because every time a man hears his song play on the radio, he feel like he's on top of the world. Preach. Oh, my song playing on the radio, the biggest thing right now. But then when the radio, then the next year come and somebody has song here and play, and now you're looking for find out why I'm to all the money the song supposed to on on the radio. Is then you realize your goose get cooked. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is the thing I want artists to understand, bro. Like, yo, you gotta, when you go in that studio, the first thing I say to any producer, how we split in this? Right. Mm -hmm. How we split in this? Who's getting what? Yeah. Are we good with splits? Do you have a system for us to get our splits? You got to present yourself with a business frame of mind to people. Or they'll be happy. Record with you. Record this song. This song sounds good, boy. Right, we record this hit, story. We got a hit. <laughs> Yo, you're gone home now. No paper signing. Or you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> you're the very, the biggest song in the, in the whole island. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then, boy. Nothing no signed. Money. Next year, nothing signed. You know, you do a few shows, you make some good money off of the show and then next year, you know, when you're wondering the next money, you yeah, know, next money, mm -hmm. you lose everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, so it's very important when you walk in that studio, how the song split in. Either be, it's better to do it right when you're in the middle of it, right. or right before, or right when you're leaving. And sometimes right when you're leaving, dangerous because the man who owns the studio, he don't pay for all the equipment, he could make all kind of argument with you. Right. Mm -hmm. Your voice don't go on in there. Right. You understand? True. So mm -hmm. it's important, you know, that you make sure your business is upfront, brother. So so what do you or what do you now? You're independent, you're with a label, what's I'm I'm independent. Okay. Um I've got labels doing stuff with me all the time. Okay. You know, because um I don't know if you know, but Turn Me On has tons of remakes. And yes. that, I, I'm I'm also very much behind that really? along with Sony ATV. Okay. You know, um, I work very well with my publishing company, Sony ATV, so shout out Sony ATV. Um, and, you know, the, my, my manager, uh, my business partner, Dr. Jacqueline James Little, she's my equal business partner. We mm -hmm. do a lot of things together, but mm -hmm. she's the one that put me on that path of understanding business even better and doing these things. She's the one that's been finding the songs with her, put together a team for me and have these people going and finding all the remakes of the song. Um, even the littlest remake, we know about it. Right. It's in there, sent into Sony ATV so they could put it in there. Get make check. sure I get my checks. Get <laughs> you check. know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're residual wise, uh, I'm doing excellent. Great, great. Good, good, good. <laughs> so, to me, you're, you're soaking all this in? Yes, I'm taking yeah. it all in. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how's your project coming? It's coming good. I know we have the single here on Laser 101. Yeah, I just released a new song, Murder. Uh -huh. And I have a lot of songs coming um, every month. Actually, I just released a new song with a New Zealand artist called Lopani. Okay. And the song is called Antidote. Oh, and nice. I'm really, really excited for that one. So how come I didn't get a hold of this song yet? I don't know. I thought we and you were cool. The, way the team. I thought me and your mom were hold cool. On. What's going on, mom? We're, st we're still independent. The, the, the team is small. Okay. So <laughs> give us a little chance. I mean, you got my email. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, okay. coming. So there's a lot of stuff coming and there's an EP coming this year as well. So this year. I'm excited for that too, yeah. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. So when can we, ex I mean, not to rush them, but can we expect the next single or the EP comes first before the next single? I think there will be an EP before the single. Okay. So very soon, hopefully. I'm not going to give a date, okay. but All right. very yeah. soon. Yeah don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't give a date. Don't put that out there. Yeah. Are you, uh, how, how how is the response to the single that's out now? It's so, like overwhelming I was face. not expecting everybody to be so welcoming and loving the song this much so I'm I could only be grateful for the first single that came out so and yeah. is there a video for that there's a vertical video and a horizontal one that I filmed in St. Martin coming out um, soon soon okay angles what yeah. vertical <laughs> horizontal and horizontal yeah. <laughs> they have that back in my day <laughs> one video You're on the screen like you know what I'm saying <laughs> no cause the vertical one I shot in Los Angeles in, okay. in, in the desert. I, 
Yeah. I saw that. That's out now. I saw that, yes. And there's another one I shot on my island. Okay. Coming out soon. Vertical, so. horizontal. Yeah. I just had Ralph McDaniel's video <laughs> music box. That was like a song, though. Yeah, it does, right? Vertical and horizontal. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so how long are you on the island for? Uh, unfortunately, tomorrow uh, I'm gone. I'm I trying to get y'all in the studio. <laughs> so y'all can be like, how much we getting on there? Yeah. I'm trying to get y'all in the we studio right now. Yeah. That's a good song. We can go we vertical. Can go, we can go vertical <laughs> and horizontal. Hey. <laughs> ah, listen, I got to get my check. I just give me my, my 15. My yeah. good. Okay. Uh, we got you. Yeah. Okay, okay. So um, are you excited about performing uh, on the regatta stage? Yeah. Well, you have performed before, right? I did it last year for yes. the first time. But you have no single out and everything. No, but now, now there's a song out and everything. Uh -huh. So that's exciting. And I'm just grateful to be a part of like these great artists like Kevin Little, there's Taurus Riley, mm -hmm. there's Adamo, everybody like to be a part of that is 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 crazy to me. So mm -hmm. I'm grateful. Okay. Yeah. So um your your label, you heard Kevin was talking about, you know, creative <laughs> Uh, yes. What's the word you said? Creative, creative control. Creative control. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you have creative control? I do have full creative control. Because usually sometimes, like when you see a, a, a young lady as yourself, yeah. or a pretty young lady, record labels try to put you in, in, a, in yeah. a mold or in a, sure. in a category. Like for mm -hmm. instance, like a like a pink, for instance. Yes. When she first came out, they tried to put her into R&B. And mm -hmm. she was never into R&B. She was more alternative. And that was her thing. But mm -hmm. she just took it and like, whatever. Yeah. Okay, baby face is what you guys want me to do I'll do it yeah. what about you you have but that's the thing the good thing with the record label that I'm with it's an independent label mm -hmm. so they're working with me in collaboration mm -hmm. and it's a team effort it's 50-50 mm -hmm. and they'll try to guide me into directions they think will be good for me to make money because at the end of the day it's a business right but I am an artist as well and I know certain things I like how I know how I like to do stuff I know how I like to wear my hair mm -hmm. my clothes how I like to sound so they, they let me handle all that stuff but okay. I can still be molded into something if if, the, if there's a bigger opportunity for sure okay so as mom ever said now you ain't you ain't putting that on <laughs> yeah I mean sometimes but my mom is very cool so like we get along really you well you ain't putting that on she's a hot mom so oh, she's a hot mom Okay. Mom. Everybody's head just picked up. <laughs> Everybody looked at your mom. We got like five, seven guys in the room. Yep. Okay. So yeah, but her dad is here though. He my dad is here too. Like, he's like quiet. He's a hot dad too. <laughs> he's a hot dad. Yeah. So you got a hot dad, a hot a mom. Hot family. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like another song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> G, you're writing right now, bro. Family. Uh -huh. yeah, man. We have hot family. family. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. It's all good. So, um, it sounds like everything is going really good, and, mm -hmm. and I've been following your journey yes. uh, from when you first started, from when you was <laughs> on The Voice mm -hmm. France. Yes. Everybody was watching that, and yeah. and now you've. I'm watching, <laughs> and I'm like, okay. She's looking a little too grown right now. <laughs> the thing is, I'm I just turned twenty. Um, You're twenty already. I'm twenty. Okay. So I'll I take get, it back. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you was younger. No, I'm, I just made twenty on the twenty sixth of February, and so I get it when people were like, "She's so young. Like, why is she wearing like crop tops?" And right, girl, I'm twenty. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm twenty. You have the baby face though. I have the baby face, and I'm not mad about that because when I'm thirty, right, hey. you look twenty one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> But my mom is okay with everything that I'm doing, and, I, and as long as she's okay with it, then I'm mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm I'm in the clear. What so. what is what is going to be your sound? You know, because we have the first song, which yeah. has like a reggae vibe to it. Yeah, but it's still appealing to the masses. True. So it's pop, but everything I do will have a Caribbean twist to it, because okay. that's just how. That's just me. I'm okay. a Caribbean girl, mm -hmm. but I do want to take it to international level. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely pop with definitely. everything. But it's a lot of a lot of things stick together because you know we are a melting pot. True. And we get inspired by a lot of different things. So True. you just have to stay tuned. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you? Do you write your own, or you have? I write? write, compose, I produce, I record, engineer. I do a lot. That's a big check there, Kevin. She gets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's keeping all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, I'm willing to collaborate. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, but I'm saying you write your own, so that's yes. that's, that's very good. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, have you have you gotten any recognition or any props from any major artists that have major artists? 
Yes. That me made of like heard your music. Or um, Kevin Little today. Okay. Yeah, music, <laughs> yeah, music is fire, man. Yeah, she's yeah. Good. She's good. I talked to Taurus Riley um, earlier today, mm -hmm. which was cool. Mm -hmm. And I got some props from um, French artists. I don't think you guys will know them. Matt Pukoha, he's a big artist. Oh yeah, I hang out with them all the time. Okay, good. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Well, just those <laughs> artists, but not not too many for now. Okay. But the love from the fans <laughs> is already enough for me. So, okay. Yeah. So where can people find your music? Where can they tune on in? all streaming platforms and follow me on social media at Tamilia T-A-M-I-L-L-I-A mm -hmm. to stay tuned with everything and yeah. Yeah, yeah but you can find me everywhere at Tamilia okay I really want this Kevin Little Tamilia thing to work out <laughs> because I want to be the one to say I did that it'll come it'll come but you got my number yeah <laughs> okay that's a start she, yeah. she, she gotta call me though okay. remember, oh, remember no that song problem. I sing yes, call, call me, me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah she gotta call me cause her dad is right here yeah <laughs> no first call, you know what I'm saying? She got to call. Don't worry, we'll call, we'll call. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So tonight, Kevin, yeah, you got a good catalog too. We were talking to Rupi earlier. You got a good catalog too. Yeah, man. Yeah, we got enough songs to drop. You know, we got Drive Me Crazy, mm -hmm. Home for Carnival. I love that song. Yeah, that was like one of my favorite songs. Home yeah, for Carnival. that's coming. Um, uh, uh, my love. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mr. Vega song, Kevin Little oh, Burning. Right. We gonna drop that I too. What about the yeah, mm -hmm. um, we what's that other song? Last drop. Okay. Yeah, there's quite okay, a few so records I'll be dropping. Nice. Right, so ladies yeah. to the front of the stage. And I got some surprises. I'm gonna put some songs in there that I own that they don't know that I own. Really? Drop it in there Ooh. before we do turn me on tonight. Okay. Yeah, man, make it really interesting. Okay. You know what I'm so, so you're doing some some writing for other artists as well? Is is? <laughs> you want me to talk about that? You want me to talk about them? <laughs> you want you to talk about them songs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some like, like okay. the, the, so the, the songs from Chris Brown that I own, Cheat oh, wow. Codes, right? Kali Buds, right. Oh. you know. So we, I'm, I'm gonna drop them records, and y'all gonna get you some. You get a good check. At, you get a good check every quarter. Yeah. Every yeah, quarter, yeah, man. you yeah, get a good yeah, check. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I ain't yeah. mad at you. Some of those songs, you know, they have a billion streams. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But the original song, believe it or not, turn me on. Original still and what a, more. Yeah, what a lot of people don't songs, know if they yeah. use your songs in TV or movie. Yeah, you also get a check. Yeah, too. you gotta check. Yeah, cause I, I, I got after the sunset, I got Hitch. Hitch, is Those, it Hitch? Yeah, yes. yeah, I got with Will Smith. Yeah, yeah, with Will Smith. Yeah, and a lot of sitcoms, Eve and all that. Mm -hmm. um, Bold and Beautiful, all them old yeah. stuff. Well, they old now. Yeah, but, but they, the other day they was new. Yeah, It'd be like yesterday, mm -hmm. but it gone. I ain't mad at you. It uh, gone. <laughs> I'm not mad at you. Yeah, man. Kevin Little in the building along with Tamilia, and uh, you're gonna be doing Sunday. Anything uh, we can be looking out for? Any collabos, maybe guest appearances. Mm, I'm gonna keep that a secret. Ooh, she's learning the business well. <laughs> she's learning the business well. I'm just yeah. excited, yeah. Very good, mm -hmm. very good. Well, I'm excited to have both you guys here, and I wish you guys the best. Heineken Regatta, 44th annual St. Martin Heineken Regatta Series Fun. Yeah. Uh, Rupi and Kevin Little tonight, and familiar with Tyrus Riley on Sunday. Well, guys, thanks for coming through. Anything, anything you want to say before you go? Anything you want to shout out? Anybody? Well, yo, you know, I want to shout out St. Martin. It's been a long time, so I'm yes. excited to perform again here mm -hmm. um, to show the growth of Kevin Little even more and um, shout out Heineken mm -hmm. I want to thank everybody behind this whole production for thinking of me mm -hmm. having me here I want to shout out again St. Martin I'm happy to see that you guys have survived and have um, mm -hmm. basically pulled through from the storm mm -hmm. I know that I'm, I'm driving around I see a lot of buildings yeah. still you know damage um, you know so uh, I mean yo more power to you guys. I wish you the best for the future and more and more and more and more wealth. You know, because this country looking wealthy. Oh, <laughs> <I love it. laughs> yeah, man. Don't tell the government officials that. <laughs> Don't tell, tell them that. Um, <laughs> to me, anybody want to thank? Anybody want to shout out? I just want to thank you for having us today. Anytime. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Heineken Regatta. See you guys there. And come out early to support your locals True. on Sunday. True. Don't forget that, guys. True. And yeah, just thank you and see you guys on Sunday. All right, so yeah, Kevin, man. before you go, give me a little acapella. And then Tamilia, give me a little acapella before you go. Give me something. Uh, uh, Alright. Uh, give me a little something. It's long time I've been away and I miss me carnival. So this year I'm on a plane that into my festival. See Martin, I love you. I can do without ya. For you, there's a special place inside my heart. 
I'm coming for my some fun in the July sun Cause I can't miss it much in a I'm coming here to my shop Heineken Regatta tonight Alright, yeah. right, Tamil, you're a hard act to follow <laughs> Right? Hard act to follow I'm gonna promote my single murder Okay, <laughs> let's go Alright Murder You silly trying to put me up for murder You wanna find I'll push a little further I kill them and I put them in the gutter I call it murder We gotta make this happen, all right? Yeah. Mom, dad, make that happen. Yeah, make sure you big me up on the drums right there. <laughs> Big up Kevin. <laughs> Sit down the station with the attitude. Keep it right here. It's Laser 101.5.